everyone, this is Sin and welcome back to my channel Stampin' Munchkins. Today is a design team hop for CC Creations, also known as Crescent Creation. And hop along, make a comment to each of us and you will be eligible to win the giveaway prize, which is you will receive all four sets free of the digital images. I used the cute little gnome and you will see the card I made now. I hope you like it. Let's go! All the details of the hop and giveaway details will be in my description below so make sure you expand the details. Okay, let's go! This is the images I used from her shop printed on Nina 80 pounds. I'm using my Lawn Fawn Hillside Stencil, Fireworks Dyes from Lawn Fawn, Stardust, Mister, Foam Blender, Tweezer, Nouveau, Ground Espresso, Distress Oxide, Black Soot Distress Oxide, Stormy Sky, Scattered Straw, Distress Oxide, Chip Sapphire Distress Oxide and Dusty Concord Distress Oxide. I'm using these Copic pens, which I'll list below in my description. My Posca paint pen in white, fine, 0 0.7 millimeter tip. My Accent 120 pound for the card base. Nina 80 pound, which I use to print the cute images. Teflon Bone Folder, Score Buddy, Waffle Flower Water Medium Mat, and my Guillotine Trimmer from Tim Holtz. So again, I used my um, Silhouette Studio program to print this out. And the one on the left is what I'm going to be using for my mini slimline card. So I am using that image. And using my guillotine trimmer to cut it to three by six but I will be trimming it down later and I'm using this fireworks it doesn't cut anything it just um, like does us uh, fireworks which you can see on the top so I'm going to be making it a little smaller And you'll see me make a ton of mistakes. So I'm leaving it all in so you learn from my mistakes and don't recreate it. So I um, colored the flag offline. And I did these three um, gnomes because I just want the flag. I will be layering the flag. And I'm using my white Posca pen to clean up the stripes because it was so fine that I went outside. Red is very hard to contain, red Copic coloring. And I'm using the my uh, paint pen to do the stars. I do not have 50 on there, but I just did um, dots for the stars. And I fussy cut it out, all three of them. And now I'm going to be doing the ground and the sky. And I'm using the ground espresso because this is a night time. So it's a dark brown color for this um, for the ground. And I wanted the fireworks to look like it has light. So that's why I used a scattered straw. And I want it to be a nighttime scene. So I'm using my purples and blues. And this is where things went wrong. I should have just used a regular um, paper mask like I normally would do. But I wanted to try this um, masking fluid from Nouveau and it didn't work out well. Um, first of all, it took forever to dry and I'm very impatient. <laughs> but I'm just doing the top part while I'm waiting for, for it to dry and that's fine. And I used the various um, colors of Distress Oxide as you saw. And now I'm splattering it using my Liquid Stardust as I wanted some sparkly skies in the sky and just added some water and I also um, used my 
waffle flour water medium mat to do all my blending because it blends and it um, doesn't move around so now I'm using my um, adhesive remover but as you can see it peeled off the layer so now I printed another one the same size which I kept um, that's the nice thing about digital images too so I just printed another one and colored it again off screen and cut it out and I'm just placing it right on top so easy peasy quick fix and you couldn't see the celebrate anymore so I also cut that out and fussy bubble cut it out and here's the three flags that I cut out and I will place that right on top so everything worked out okay everything is fixable and I like how the sky, sky turned out. It has, still has that um, subtle yellow so that it shows that the fireworks are, um, you know, it has a little brightness. And now I'm giving it some highlights with my white uh, pen again. And I'm cutting my card base to three by six since it's a mini slim line and I'm scoring it at three inches. And I noticed that it was, the panel is um, really short. So I thought I could um, use that same fireworks stitching dies for the top. And I did that, which um, you'll see later. And I'm using my foam, my Gina K foam tape to do this whole entire backside of the panel. And here I, did push it through and I freeze framed it so you could see I really like that subtle white um, fireworks and I didn't add any ink or anything so I just wanted it to be subtle and it's the panel is raised up so you can see the fireworks behind it and on the panel itself and I like how it came out after all the um, <laughs> the mistakes that happened, you know, it still turned out great. So I really like it. I love using the digital images. And Niha's images are really nice because it has a transparent background. So it's easy to layer things up. And if you want to see a video on how to do that, I will show that. But as you can see, it's really easy. And that's what I love about digital images. Her shop will be listed below. Don't forget to comment and follow and share so that you will be eligible for the giveaway. Here's another video you might like and a playlist. And as always, please click on my face to subscribe. Thanks everyone. Aloha.